We are exactly one month away from the 1940 presidential election. President Roosevelt is seeking an unprecedented third term. Roosevelt's plan includes a tax increase for defense readiness. His Republican opponent, Wendell Wilkie, a former Democrat, is critical of Roosevelt's work to bring an end to the Depression. Ms. Carney, what do you think of Mr. Roosevelt's chances of getting an unprecedented third term as president? I think President Roosevelt has, stands a fabulous chance of winning a third term. He will. I predict right here he will, but it won't be with Colorado. Colorado seems to be getting back to its Republican roots. In 1932 and in uh, 1936, our great state went for Roosevelt, but not this time. And I think part of it has to do with Wendell Wilkie and his isolationism. You know, the Republican Party has this history of sticking its head in the sand and with Hitler taking over the European continent. Now is not the time to keep your heads in the sand. But I predict that uh, Wendell Wilk Wilkie is going to take Colorado and some other Western states too, much to our embarrassment. Ms. Griffiths, as you look at the election one month from today, what do you think, how do you think Colorado will vote? I'm afraid that Ms. Sinclair might, oh, sorry, Ms. Carney. Carney, sorry, my, my apologies, might be right no that we could go, there, there still are some people in Colorado who are very reactionary. They do not realize how big this world is and how we are all a part of it. I would be sad to see President Roosevelt go not just for what he's done for all the people, but for his wife who has done a remarkable, remarkable job bringing women to the forefront, bringing important issues to the forefront. She just visited Denver a few weeks ago. She has done incredibly, it almost makes you think that one day a woman could run for president. There's been a lot of bold predictions in this program. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what to make of all of them, but all it's, yeah. it's, Attorney General Rogers, I will throw it to you, uh, especially with your uh, ear to the ground when it comes to election issues. What do you think of what's going to happen one month from today? Well, I think uh, Ms. Carney, Ms. Carney is right that Colorado is going to go for Wilkie, and it's going to be a very close election nationwide. And here, here's what I would say to my, my Republican friends. Mr. Wilkie's a good man. He's done a good job of pulling his party somewhat reluctantly away from its isolationist roots and into realizing that we have to be engaged in the world because the world is going to engage with us no matter what we want. And he's an admirable man personally. His mother was a lawyer. But when you say in these perilous times, which are leading a president and unprecedentedly to run for a third term, who can manage the presidency? We have the steadiness and executive leadership of President Roosevelt. And Mr. Wilkie, after he won the nomination, he comes to the Broadmoor for a five-week working vacation. And ever since then, his campaign's been pulling boners one thing after another. He's been a straddle bug too often. Too much disorganization in times like this to be president. And the other thing I'd say to my Republican friends and my farmer friends, Henry Wallace is on the ticket. I served with him in the New Deal in Washington, D.C. as a lawyer for the Agriculture Administration. Henry Wallace is the greatest friend the farmer has ever had. He's going to be the vice president. I want to go to Washington and work with him to f help all of Colorado's farmers. Mr. Chase, what do you think of uh, President Roosevelt's bid for an unprecedented third term? Well, Mr. O'Fallon, I think the little lady here is exactly correct. I think that uh, Wendell Wilkie does stand a very good chance of carrying the state of Colorado. I do think that FDR is a pretty good uh, bet for a third term. However, despite the fact that FDR carried Colorado by an even greater margin four years ago than he did in 1932, uh, something that hasn't yet been mentioned here is our very popular governor, Ralph Carr, a Republican. He's up for re-election to another two-year term. Uh, governor Carr is very well known as a highly principled man and a very good Republican. I think the drawing power of having Ralph Carr at the top of the ticket for the state offices is going to do wonders for Wendell Wilkie here in Colorado. I could see a slim chance for him to pull out uh, the state of Colorado. However, the one thing that's working against him, the, the tide that's working against him, is this defense preparedness because uh, uh, Mr. Wilkie is opposed to, uh, uh, to getting into the war and I think the voters of Colorado are looking at all the economic benefits that are coming from the defense spending that's taking place here. And they're not too sure. They might be a little skeptical of that. Hmm. 
Well, it's a perfect time to thank our sponsor of tonight's program, Packard Motor Cars. If you're interested in getting one of these fine new models, the convertible, that's right. This one is nine seconds from winter to summer. You can go down to Mountain Motors at Spear Boulevard in Sherman. Tell them if you're not interested in the convertible, you might looking for the sedan with new refrigerated air. Now available at Mountain Motors at Spear Boulevard and Sherman. Thank you for your sponsorship of tonight's program.